Hey, little birdie, don't feel down. Come and perch on my shoulder. Don't be shy. I'll show you around town. Really? No wonder they never pay attention to me. Uh, forget it. I probably shouldn't be anthropomorphizing them anyway. Haven't seen you in some time. To which one of the Animo Archons wins do I owe the honor? Oh, is this your way of saying that you missed me? Since it wasn't meant to be with this little birdie, I'd better leave it alone. Let's take a walk, shall we? If you're wondering why I'm here, Jean's been worrying about trade safety recently. I discovered this when I unwittingly burst into her office to save the day. Another job involving long-distance travel falls to me. I suppose it's my own fault for having such a strong sense of duty. Still, on the bright side, business is now taken care of. And I have unused travel funds, so I was planning to... Gundafar, we are in the middle of a war. Your place is at the front lines by my son's side. Pray tell, what provokes your unwarranted return to the palace? A matter of utmost importance, your majesty. Such that I must personally report it to you. Huh. Outdoor theater. Looks fun. Ah, yes. Here's what I was thinking about the unused funds. Given that the acting Grand Master saw fit to allocate these funds to my trip in the first place, I think it's my responsibility to make sure that every last mora is put to good use. In other words, what do you say we find a way to spend the remaining budget? Perhaps a fancy meal at a nice restaurant? Or a river cruise that takes in the sights of Sumeru City? Or we could buy a few nice mementos to take home. Hey, no need to put it like that. Let's keep walking. We can consider it some more on the road. The rules of the Knights of Favonia state that any and all expenditures during a business trip are counted as travel expenses. That's more than enough justification to live a little. Of course, with me being here on my own, it was looking like a wasted opportunity. But now that I've run into you, why don't we make this a joint trip? You're always so busy. It's high time you gave yourself a proper break. Even the sharpest blade loses its edge if it's always in use. Regular maintenance is essential for reliable performance. And anyway, life is short, so we should make the most of the time we have. Right now is the perfect time to relax and enjoy ourselves. And who knows how many other chances we'll get. So come on, what do you say? Great! Music to my ears. I'll cover the travel costs, of course. There's nothing more enjoyable than the company of a good friend. Let's call this a nice little excursion to round off my long business trip. Now, let me think where we should go. Hmm. I've seen a lot of Sumeru already, so let's go for someplace new. How about Liyue? I'd be heading past there on my way back to Mondstadt anyway, so it's not out of the way. <laughs> well, lucky me. I'll hold you to that. Liyue's Ministry of Civil Affairs frequently corresponds with the Knights of Favonius, so the address on their letterhead is one of the few places I'm familiar with. I don't have much luggage, so it won't take me long to pack. Give me a moment, and then we'll head there together. I've heard that there's lots to see and do in Liyue, but I'm sure you're more familiar with the place than I am, so I'll leave the itinerary to you. Great. Maybe you can tell me about your previous travels here along the way. It's such a satisfying feeling to just drop everything, go on a long trip, and see something new. Who knows who we might cross paths with? We might even end up going on an impromptu adventure. Just like how I met you in Port Omos, and now we're here. Come on, let's see what's up ahead. Do you know this shop? 
It looks pretty nice from the outside. Shall we take a look? Welcome to Mingxing Jewelry. We are a long-established trader of precious stones. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Hmm, let me see. Ah, some nice jewelry you've got here. Maybe I can grab something with a local flavor as a souvenir. What do you think, Traveler? See anything that suits my style? I trust your judgment. Ah, oh, you're interested in souvenirs. If you're struggling to decide, you might want to consider getting some jade. You can't go wrong with a nice jade pendant. They're an elegant addition to your look, whatever your age or gender. If you're looking for a specific design, we can make it to your specifications. It does take some time to fulfill an order, however. High quality jade is hard to come by, so our waiting list is at least a couple of weeks. Oh, that's a pity. I'm just visiting and I won't be in town for very long. So as much as it pains me to do so, I'm afraid I'll have to leave this beautiful bijou behind. No worries at all, sir. If you're looking for something off the shelf, why not go and see Mr. Shirto at the Jade Mystery? He also deals in jade and precious stones. Exactly. But on that note, let me give you a word of advice. There's no risk in purchasing a piece of jade that's already been cut. But you could lose all of your mora betting on uncut rocks. <laughs> I won't say any more, as I don't want my fellow vendors to think I'm bad-mouthing them. But I think you catch my drift. It's only human nature to spend a little when you're on a trip. But don't be too hasty to part with your cash. The Ministry of Civil Affairs takes everyone's economic well-being very seriously, and they often send out the Millilith to spread public awareness of well-known scams. As guests here, I'd encourage you to watch out for anyone trying to rip you off. I think that's sound advice wherever you go into that. We appreciate it, boss. Welcome! Looking for uncut stones or pre-cut jade? We've got plenty of both for your viewing pleasure. Uncut stones? Ah oh, yes, we were just briefed on that. Hmm. Let's take a look at the pre-cut jade. I believe I detect a quiet but distinct tone of apprehension in your words. Please rest assured, there's nothing to be quite so wary about with my business. Feel free to peruse at your leisure. I think you'll find that everything I do here is entirely above board and legitimate, and I sell only pure and unadulterated goods. No scam guaranteed. Sure, you can bet on Jade and lose if you're unlucky, but that doesn't make it a scam. My terms are clear and transparent, and I only do business with willing customers. What scammer can claim that? Sounds perfectly reasonable. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much the vendor is charging. If the customer decides to hand over their money, they're taking the bait of their own free will. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you understand. Although your peculiar phrasing at the end there, you almost make it sound as if I really am scamming people. <clears throat> anyway, betting on Jade is what it is. Feel free to try your luck, but if you can't afford to lose, then it's not for you. We don't need to cause each other any trouble. I'll leave you to browse at your own pace now while I deal with other potential customers. Hmm, amber-colored Jade would probably make for a good souvenir. Why not? This is a quirky little place. Somehow, I'm inclined to entertain him for a bit. Well, if you're not interested, then I guess we'll pass. Ahoy there, Captain! Uh, fancy seeing you back in town. <laughs> uh, struck any gold lately? What, a poor sailor like me? You must be joking. I barely managed to make ends meet. What about you, Chateau? Still scamming people with your pile of rocks? Hey! Keep your voice down. Can't you see I've got customers? But more to the point, when have you ever seen a customer get scammed in my store? I mean, you want the full list? Or... Hold up. Is that... Captain Kaya! What, uh, brings you to Liyue? <laughs> oh, just taking a short trip with my friend. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a good while, hasn't it? <laughs> hmm. 
gotten anywhere you'd recommend I visit while I'm here? Let me think. Wanmin Restaurant's always a pretty good bet. Chef Mao's daughter is a skilled chef, and their prices are very reasonable. My wife can't get enough of their boiled fish. You could give that a try. And, uh, speaking of my wife, she won't let me forget what a great help you've been to us before. So thank you, on her behalf. Your wife? Ah, uh, yes. How is she doing these days? Keeping well? Very well, thank you. Very well. Anyway, uh, I've got something I need to do down at the South Wharf, so my apologies, Captain Kaya, but I'd better get going. All right. See you. Ah, I finally remembered who that was. Captain Wu. He runs a transport business between Mondstadt and Liyue. I see. So you went through that whole conversation with no idea who you were talking to. Well, that explains the generic pleasantries and the general awkwardness. Old Wu's usually quite the chatterbox, so it's very unusual for him to just take off mid-conversation. How exactly do you two know each other anyway? An educated guess. Yes, you could put it like that. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. The captain was making a delivery to Mondstadt when his ship sprang a leak. He overexerted himself fixing it and keeping the cargo dry, and ended up passing out from exhaustion. I took him to Mondstadt to recover. Hmm, well, it still seems strange to me. Sure, he's hardly the most charming conversationalist, and he's also mighty stubborn, but all of us know Old Wu is an honest and kind-hearted man. His eldest was once playing on that big rock over there, when he took a tumble and injured himself. I helped to patch the kid up, and the next day, Old Wu was here to buy a couple of uncut stones. I'm just surprised he was so quick to excuse himself, that's all. Normally, he's the kind of guy who, if you run into him on the street and he owes you a favor, he'll grab you by the hand and thank you profusely until you ask him to stop. Well, stubborn, I can believe. Someone had drilled a gaping hole in his ship, and the water was coming in fast. How he managed to make it all the way to Mondstadt, not to mention with his cargo intact, I have no idea. Someone drilled a hole in his ship? Oh dear. It must have been one of the less savory captains out there trying to sabotage his business so they can squeeze their way into the market. When competition is stiff, sometimes things get ugly. It's the way of the world, unfortunately. His line of work isn't easy. The poor fellow usually has to set sail before the break of dawn. He's been loitering around a lot these past few weeks, though. I thought maybe he'd come into some Mora. Competition is fierce these days, and there's not a lot of Mora to be made in shipping. So every day he stays idle is another negative in the books. I do wonder what's gotten into him. Anyway, I digress. We merchants protect our goods like our own lives, so who knows? Maybe he had some important cargo to see to. <laughs> Either way, good sir, don't mind him. <laughs> I am an upstanding member of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Just look me in the eyes. Don't you find me trustworthy? Since you asked about recommendations earlier, you're here from Mondstadt, yes? Might I suggest the tea house is somewhere to rest your legs? If memory serves, they're just about to retell the tale of Bravebeard the Valiant from the top. Why not pay them a visit? Huh. Sounds interesting enough. Let's check it out. Huh. So this is the Huyu Tea House. Ah, uh, we meet again, Captain Kaya. What a coincidence. Twice in one day. <laughs> oh, that didn't take me long, and I ran the whole way. Uh, Wu, weren't you just at Wanwen Bookhouse buying a book for your daughter? What's this talk about the wharf? Shh, just leave it be, Aunt Zhang. <laughs> There's no need to embarrass him right in front of everyone else. I take it that you two aren't from around these parts. I'm a caravan guard by trade, and meeting people from all over the world is one of the main perks of the job for me. Why don't you join my table so we can get to know each other? Uh oh ho Seems like the tea house is the place to be in Liyue. Feels like I'm back in the angel share. Did you manage to get something for your daughter just now, Captain Wu? Yes, thank you. If it weren't for you, Captain Kaya, she might not have even made it into this world. I'm so lost, Wu. What's the story here? 
<sighs> Your wife's originally from Mondstadt, isn't she? Did you run into Captain Kai when you were there on business, or when you were visiting the in-laws? <sighs> the latter. Oh, this is so humiliating. Anyway, back when my wife was pregnant, we were taking a trip to Mondstadt to visit her parents this one time, when we were mugged by a group of treasure hoarders near Dawn Winery. Oh, that sounds awful. Were either of you hurt? I mean, he's still here, and he's still got all his limbs, so they can't have roughed him up too bad. I'm guessing Captain Kaya stepped in before they could do either of you any serious harm, huh? Yes, he did. Thankfully, he heard my wife crying for help and drove them away. My wife was injured and quite shaken up by the ordeal, so he took her to the winery and asked them to look after her. Uh, so, what happened to you? Where did you disappear to? I... I was in the water. Huh? What did you jump in the water for? You know they can still get you in there, right? No, that's not... I... I did... They threw me into the water, and, uh, stripped me of all my clothes. They did what? Did they have a weird fetish or something? Stripping a sailor naked and throwing him into the water? It's not like you were going to drown. So, then what? I take it you swam to shore? The treasure hoarders always move in groups, and fighting back when you're outnumbered isn't usually an option. It's no surprise that they quickly overpowered Captain Wu. I'm just glad that everyone made it out all right at the end. Captain Kaya, please, there's no need for you to try to save face for me like this. I already owe you so much. You don't have to do anything more. Yet, despite that, I somehow only ended up humiliating myself further. Oh, there's no point in me trying to save face now. They tossed me into the water to humiliate me, and to use it as leverage to get my wife to pay up. But they didn't know that I could swim. What I'd intended was to pretend to drown, then sneak back onto shore while they weren't looking, and find a way to rescue my wife. That was before Captain Kaya appeared out of nowhere and saved the day. So then I figured I'd get out of the water, get dressed, and catch up with you. But God knows what they did with my clothes. I couldn't find them anywhere. By the time I gave up looking for them, you were most of the way to the winery. So I had to run after you with nary a thing on myself. Outrageous! <laughs> so, uh, what happened next? I made it to the winery, but the maids noticed me first, and they called the Lord of the Manor out to give me the beating the treasure hoarders never got around to. After my wife recovered consciousness, she had to have a long talk with the young lord to explain everything. He then escorted us both safely to Stonegate. <laughs> oh, whoa, well, I'm sorry. But... <laughs> Ugh, good luck living that one down. Trust me, I know. My wife never lets me forget. <sighs> I'm sorry, Captain. I wasn't intending to share that story. It's fine. It's my own fault for thinking I could sweep it under the carpet and forget about it. I don't know if I can ever repay you for all you've done. That's why I get so embarrassed every time I run into you. Still, it won't stop me from trying. You and your friend are here to catch the storyteller, right? The tea's on me. It's the least I can do. In fact, they do serve some food here, too, but it's not the best. Okay, let me run and get some fruit to share. I'll be right back. I wonder how much Fan Arya caught of that. Old Wu really has no filter, does he? Oh, poor Wu. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. It's just... He really didn't have to share all the details of that story, but since he didn't seem to mind, I wasn't about to stop him. I did actually forget at first, but once he brought up his daughter, 
the memory of his naked escapades came flooding back. D. Luke thought some pervert was harassing the maids. He charged straight out the door, great sword in hand and raring to go. I haven't seen him so angry in a long time. <laughs> so many people owe me favors nowadays. It's hard to keep track of them all. I really should go check my favors ledger once I'm back and refresh my memory. Hey, you didn't think I was being serious, did you? Do I really strike you as the kind of person to keep track of favors in a notebook? I just helped the guy out on a couple of occasions because I happened to be in the right place at the right time. I have no intention of asking him to do anything for me in return. At least, not so far. <laughs> <laughs>